Hey YouTube, Dustin Ryder here, and welcome to my review for Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel Episode 14, Sheriff Skyfire. So, this was an episode, um, if you follow that sort of thing, we did find out, I mean, all the spoilers, Sans the Holiday Specials are out now, so I found out everything, but we found out a little while back that the, the footage of whatever this guy's name is, Jibanyan, Jiren, the old and busted metal hero guy, um, was going to be used, and so it's Sheriff Skyfire, which I don't really have a problem with that, it is kind of weird and kind of funny, and I'm not sure, like, what the logistics were, like, did they have to pay extra for the suit? And I know there was a lot of people that are like, why did they use this when we didn't use, like, you know, the ninja team-up stuff? I don't know. I would, I'd love to know all that type of behind-the-scenes stuff. That type of stuff fascinates me. But, yeah, we used that. I didn't really mind it. I didn't think the idea behind it was terrible. Um, it was almost, in a way, nostalgic, just because it kind of reminded me back when, like, you know, we had like Masked Rider and Power Rangers and stuff like that, and there was like this hodgepodge of, of footage, and then of course like, you know, stuff like uh, uh, VR Troopers. But yeah, I didn't mind the idea behind it either. Um, it also kind of reminded me of the way they sort of tried to merge Gavin with the Sentai universe that's also not a connected universe, but also is when they want it. Um, but yeah, he was basically like a space cop. It was really straightforward. They had a lot of jokes, well, not a lot of jokes, but some jokes, and they're like, oh, I only watch cooking shows. I'm like, Okay, um, but yeah, it was really straightforward, I think I said like three times, but I didn't mind the idea, and I think there could have been something cooler with that, that idea, um, maybe even something for like a couple reoccurring appearances, but it wound up being pretty basic, and it did that thing that last week's episode did, which annoys me, which is when they have the ranger plot, and then the, the subplot, like the character plot, be coincidentally interconnected to some sort of lesson, because... For some reason, all of a sudden, we have this security guard character who um, they get annoyed at for kicking Cody off the premises, rightfully so. That's the best Ninja Steel character. And then, like, the whole lesson of the episode was, oh, you should just follow the rules. And, like, no, the lesson should have been let this, this uh, guy get fired so we can bring the dog back. That's what I would have done. I don't know. He just really annoyed me. But that was basically the lesson that not following rules makes it difficult for rule makers, more or less. And that sort of was reinforced by the sheriff guy, and I don't know, I just don't like that. Like, sometimes you can pull that off, um, but like, all, every lesson when they tie the two in, just, it's too much of a coincidence. And it, Ninja Steel has a huge problem with, I feel, more so than a lot of the seasons, with really beating your head with the lesson. It's like, ridiculously in your face. And the reason I bring that up so much, you know, as a complaint, is because not only does it obviously make me roll my eyes now, but when I was a kid, I hated when kids shows did that, that I was watching, where I could tell they were trying to, like, talk down to me to teach me something. Um, and I think there's ways, I've mentioned this again before, in both kids show, any show, really, where if you want to impart some sort of wisdom, you can do it without more or less making it seem like they just office turned to the camera, except not in a good show, and just told you what the lesson was. But yeah, it was some dumb security guard subplot about following the rules and he was going to quit. I'm like, good riddance. But no, they got him back at the end. And then, of course, there was a dumb subplot where Victor and Monty just wanted to use, uh, like, the power of a security guard to basically steal stuff. And it ended in an over-the-top Willy Wonka reference. Um, what was weird, too, is when they, they first saw him, like, confiscate a skateboard, they're like, how do you do that? He's like, security guards have the power to confiscate things. I'm like, that's such a weird answer. I can't imagine, like, a regular security guard or someone giving that answer, like, uh, we have authority to, like, steal stuff from people. It would be more like, oh, yeah, she's breaking the rules, so I took it. I don't know. It just seemed weird. It was dumb. Um, in addition to, you know, Sheriff Skyfire being there to reinforce the plot, for the first, like, five minutes, um, he was tricked by Madame Odious, because for some reason he's on Galaxy Warriors to arrest this one dude, the, ma the main, like, baddie who had, like, explosive stuff. Um... And then Matabodius is like, oh, these guys stole my ninja star, and he just believes him. No evidence, no investigation, no mention of the fact that the Power Rangers are probably known as, you know, a force for good out in space where he is. Especially since we now know, given a few episodes back, it was confirmed that we're in the main universe. So, I don't know. So, But it didn't last very long at all. Honestly, I thought it was going to last, like, more, like, maybe more a half the episode. But it just, it boiled down to a misunderstanding that was solved when they saved this old lady. And then, you know, they, they, I think that's some original footage of, like, one of the blaze doors flying, which is kind of neat. But yeah, and then we blew up the monster, and then we learned our lesson, and I didn't learn my lesson, but they learned theirs, and it was over. But yeah, I, I wasn't too much of a fan. I think it's kind of a shame, because, you know, all the jokes and whatever funny stuff uh, aside about Sheriff Skyfire being from Jiriha or whatever, 
Um, I think there was potential for an actually solid episode there, and it ended up just being another lesson of the week. And I just, I don't, I'm tired of them trying to, to do that. I wish they could just be a little bit more discreet about it. Um, just be better. Like, I'm, and the spoilers basically have indicated this is going to be pretty much like this. So who knows, maybe it'll come off better when watching it. We don't know. But overall, I'd probably give this episode like a 5.5, .5, I would say. Maybe like a 5. 5.5, 5. I don't know. It'll be somewhere in there. There's a five, but yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of over it at this point, but we'll see. Maybe there'll be a, a more enjoyable episode in the bunch. Anyway, until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe, and of course, don't forget to climb the steps and ring that bell so you get the notifications for all my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.